Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 and this is your daily go get them is number 638. For July 2nd, 2016. Tonight, today, I want to talk about a really serious topic. I want to talk about children who disown their parents and parents who disown their kids. Disowning your children. Disowning your parents. You know, to me, family is everything, man. You know, blood family is really everything. I mean, you know, I have great friends, and the, the the great friends that I have, I consider to be family. But the blood family is the foundation. And I know that in every family, you go through things. You know, you go through ups and downs. Just because you have been raised by somebody, taught by somebody, trained by somebody, brought up by somebody, with somebody, it doesn't necessarily mean that things are always going to go smooth between the two of you. But you have to do your best to try to work it out. And to be honest with you, it pains me when I see people who are estranged from their, their family in such a way that they feel like they're not even family no more. But I think it gets magnified to another level when you start talking about, you know, my mom ain't my mom. I ain't got no mom. Or my grandmom is my mom. My, my real mom ain't never been there. She ain't nothing in the, to, to me. It's a hurting thing, man. Or, you know, my dad ain't my dad. He a sperm donor. You know, he ain't nothing but, that's my biological dad, but that ain't my dad. Now, that's one thing to just be angry at your parents. But know that, you know, with a little intervention, with a little effort on both sides, that y'all can patch things up, but maybe you're just really mad for the time being. But when you start talking about, I ain't, I don't have no father, I don't have no mother, because they have done something to you that, have, that has hurt you so bad that you don't want to acknowledge them anymore. You know, you really have to think about the things that would make a person disown their mom or their dad. Disown. Think about how big of a, a concept that is to disown, like, I don't have one anymore or the one that is ain't to me they are not what they are actually to me and when you when you think about it when it, when it comes to children I really wonder what gets a, a, a child who who grows up into adulthood to get to the point where they can't forgive their parents for something because you know that children are abused every day by parents. Of course, I'm not talking about every every uh, child and every parent, but the, the children who have grown up being abused, if you, if you check their behavior during the time of that abuse, children look for validation from their parents and love and affection from their parents no matter what their parents do to them. You know, whether they beat them, whether they ridicule them, tease them, put them down, tell them that they ain't never going to be shit, that they ain't shit. Even if they tell them that they just like the other parent and they ain't never going to be nothing just like the other parent. Even if they whoop their ass every day severely for the smallest things. Children still love their parents. You have... You have uh, social services that come in and remove the children from that abusive household and place the child in the protective care of foster care or in, uh, um, with, with another family member. And those children normally still try to fight to get back to their parents. They still try to get back to mommy and daddy. So when do we get to the point where children feel like Mm -mm. I don't love her or I don't love him and they ain't my mom and they ain't my dad that's just what it is a lot of times they don't even want to talk about it no more because the pain is so so great they don't even want to express it to you you ask them what's going on why do you feel that way listen don't worry about it all you need to know is that um, you know my aunt is my mom or my god mom is my mom that's who took care of me or my grandma, my mom is my mom, not my mom. 
Now on the flip side of that, on the flip side of that, look at the standpoint of a parent. Most parents that I know really love their children. It's, if you take the connection that most mothers have with their sons, yeah, I know, I know ladies, you know, I mean, a lot of times, you know, the connection between a mother and a son is so strong that, that the, the girls in the family get a little jealous. They feel some kind of way because they feel like boys can get away with anything when it comes to their mom. So what gets, what, what, what gets a, a mom to the point where she has disowned her son? Disowned, like I don't have no son. What could, uh, what could he have done? What could she have done? Not the parent, a daughter. Because I've seen many, many situations where the mom and the daughter aren't aren't really close like that. But to get to the point where, where you disown your parents, like you ain't. No, I'm sorry. To get to the point where the parent disowns their daughter, disowns their son. What are the what are some of the things that can happen? I've seen situations where. <clears throat> the children of parents have gotten on drugs, you know, came to the to, to the parents' house, robbed the parents, you know, stole the TV, stole the microwave, stole the VCR, <laughs> sold it, and they were still all right with the, with the, with their kids. Like I know, listen, I know my baby, he you know, he on that stuff. I don't really understand. You know all them drugs. I don't. I ain't never been in them drugs. I know he on that stuff, so I can't allow him to come around here unless I'm home. But you know he's that's still my baby. So they get sent to jail. You know mom might come through with the bail money if she can afford it. Put the house up. Put the house up in order to bail bail little man out. To bail Junior out because it don't matter what Junior did. She gonna come ride for him. And not even just not even just the mom. A lot of times it's the pop too. I've seen it both ways. You know, we 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 kick it like it ain't no fathers in the black community. I know some. I know a lot. Ain't nobody's perfect. But I've seen some parents do some very, very perfect like things in the name of love. So what gets a parent to the point where they disown their child? Disown like that ain't my son, that ain't my daughter. Uh uh. Mm -mm. My kids don't do that. Because a disowned situation is a situation that isn't really reparable. You can't really fix that. Anger, frustration, those are fixable things. When you've gotten to the point where you, dis where you disown somebody, you're past the anger. You're past the frustration. You're past the point of trying again. You're past the point of re reconciliate, re reconciliation. If you disown him, it looks like you're past the point where you even care anymore. Is it really like that? Could be. I just know that that's a sad situation. And that's a situation I wouldn't work, wish on my worst enemy. And I hope that anybody who's going through anything like that, I hope that they realize that listen, it doesn't really matter what your parents have done. It's always better to, to exist with the love of your family in your heart. Especially when it comes to your parents. Parents especially when it comes to your kids. Because that shit direct bloodline, man. They got to carry on that name. They got to carry on your energy. I mean, that's all I really can say about that. I don't really have any solutions to this thing. Only thing I can really say... Is that I hope that people in any relationship who are really, really estranged from each other because of bad circumstances, bad blood, and especially a misunderstanding, I hope that you can get that thing uh, patched up. And pride, man. But I don't even, I don't even think when it comes to the disowning thing, I think pride isn't even a factor because you're way past that point of, well, I ain't saying nothing till they say something. Or, you know, like a stalemate, a standoff. It's past all of that. Because that's just anger. You know, anger and frustration will bring your pride and your ego into question. But when it comes to disowning somebody, like, you ain't who you used to be to me. I've cut those ties. 
although you still carry 23 of my chromosomes inside your body. That's serious. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And yo, man, I mean, I, I can't impress upon y'all enough. Please get that situation fixed. If you know somebody that's going through that, you know, don't try to fix it all in one fell swoop. Don't do anything crazy like invite um, invite the disowned party over and all that. Because that could blow up in your face and it'll look like you're meddling. And everything can go wrong for you. And we don't need all of that. But talk to them. Try to chip away at, at the hurt, at the pain that they have experienced. Get them to talk. Because when you get people talking, you can make something happen. That's how actions begin. They begin with the words. In the beginning, it was the word. And the word was God and the word. How is y'all later? Shout out to the um, MRBB crew, Mind, Right, and Body Better Fitness Program. Earlier today, that's how I get so big and strong. All right, y'all. Yo, holla at y'all later. Y'all have a great holiday weekend. Don't praise America, though. Don't do that shit. Our shit was Juneteenth. Don't forget that. All right, y'all. Holla.